Hey guys, I'm back again with another video and today we'll talk about what you can do to find your purpose in life. How can you find your purpose in life? There's always something you can do. There's always something you can do. There's always something you can do. What do I mean by there's always something you can do? See bro, huh? I believe in this life that God has put in something in you that probably you have discovered or you have not discovered can change your life drastically like in, the, in one or two days your life changes once you discover who you are I know I know men I know I, I know boys who are young right now huh? and they are chasing like girls girls are the main things in their life that's what they think can make them happy the amount of girls they can get, the amount of girls they can sleep with. But let me tell you, there's something that is higher than that in this life. Your purpose. I will tell everyone, see, your primary purpose, as I know, is to serve God. You know, God made you, so you serve Him. That that's normal. But then there's something again that 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 could complete your fulfillment. Or that could give you joy. There's something that God has put in you that you can see used to serve Him and make money from it and be known for it. It's something that God has put in everybody. And how do you find that thing? How do you find what God has put in you that you could use to make money and that will make people know you? What's that stuff? What's that stuff? Now you can find that stuff. But there are other sorts of clouding your finding that stuff. Your mind is not there. Let me put it in normal Nigerian terms. Your mind is not there. Your mind is diverted. You are not thinking about your purpose. That's why you are not finding your purpose. Where your mind is, that's where your focus will be. Where your heart is. See, 90% of the men I know today, they are chasing girls. I don't want that life for you. Girls will always be there. But if you don't find your purpose early enough, then you will be in trouble. Because right now, the little resources you have that you should be using to find your purpose, you are using it to pursue women. See, that's the main distraction. There's nothing else I can think of. What else is distracting men from finding who they really are? From taking time off and sitting back and saying, okay, why am I on this earth? What am I doing here? What can I really do? What can I really contribute? What else? What else do I know that, that, that derails young men? Apart from money that they are looking for to still, to still be able to, to get more women. Apart from money, what else? Women. You guys are chasing women. See, you have a very short window to make it. Do you understand? I remember when I started reading books, when I was... I, I, I just forgot about women and just kept all those distractions of life aside. And mistakenly, I started reading books. I just started trying to improve my life. I started working out. Or more, I was met with opposition from friends, from... For my parents, my parents told me to stop working out. But uh, now I don't think they care anymore now. They don't tell me that anymore. But uh, reading, you know, when I was reading books and I would post stuff that I learned online, things that I was learning every day, I would just post some of it online. My friends were like, this guy is changing. I don't know what they were thinking. But they were seeing that I was leaving them. Do you understand? And then they, they were advising me, guys, stop reading. What are you reading for, you know? Stop reading books. Anything I do, do connect it to books. And this book told you this. This book told you that. This book told you this. But the truth is, books. I, I, I'm saying brought me to where I am today because everything I say, I would say 80 to 90 percent of everything that I that I know is from books. What do I know? What do I know now? I don't know anything now. I don't know anything. You see, when I look back, when I just think, okay, so 
150,000 people are following me. Or I'm thinking, okay, because I'm sharing knowledge that I learned and then I put in my own words and I spit it out and people are following me. Then it goes back to the saying that, see, there's no knowledge that has not been known. Do you understand? It depends on your own delivery and it depends on how you put it out there. That's your own delivery and it depends on, um, um, on how you interpret it. Having read a lot, I could, I have, I, I could, I could, see when you read eh, it's like if you are reliving someone else's experience and you begin to, it begins to feel personal, it begins to feel like your own. Back to the story, when I was reading, people, were, my friends were telling me, hey, guys, stop reading, stop reading. Well, oh, see where I am today, who can tell me to stop reading now? Who? Oh. Who well, then shut their mouth? Because see, I, I, thank, I thank God for proving himself though, do you understand? That, because... It, it, it could be that I'm not the only person that has read in the world. Do you understand me? Some people have not profited from it. But there's only when I mean profited from like get got, got, gotten known for sharing knowledge and information online. Most people have not put themselves out there so much to be able to get exposure from doing that. Most people don't even teach their knowledge. Everybody is different. The way everybody processes their information and interprets and uh, and does does what they have do what they do. The knowledge you acquire is different. I decided to just put my own out here and share. But everybody does not do this, so I cannot use my mind as a yasi. But what I'm saying is, you are the most important person to you. Why are you looking outside for validation? Why are you looking outside for, 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 for people's um, opinion on how you live your life? You should find your purpose. Let me go back to where I started from. There's something in you, there's a hobby, there's something that interests you in this in this entire life. There's something that you know how to do very well. You can make money from that thing, either by teaching other people, either by teaching people, even by teaching people for free first. The way you have enough uh, um, customer base or people base, people can refer back to you and then you start any money from it. There's just something about you that God has put in you that can change your life. So please find that thing. Now, let me give you things to do. So if you have not found that thing, how you can find it? Please, start reading. I read many things before I found something to pick an interest in. Relationships and uh, dating and, uh, and, 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 and intersexual dynamics is what I call it. But I read books on everything, you know, before I found something that, okay, this interests me and I read more books on that thing. And then I understood it, I processed the information in my head, I put, it to, put one or two together. I, 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 I had to relate it to my own surroundings, Nigeria where I am, and then talk about it that way, in my own ways and with my own, um, um, with my own facial expressions and everything. And it made sense to other people. There's something about you, there's something in you that can generate income for you, that you can use to serve God and help other people. Helping other people is serving God. Do you understand? So please, find that thing. Start reading books to find that stuff. Start getting involved in different things to find what you're really interested in. Do so many things, involve yourself in so many activities. That's way to find out something that you're interested in and, and, and that you can get perfect in. And even if that doesn't happen, the amount of experience you would have gained while reading, doing stuff that you're not really interested in, just to find out your stuff, just that knowledge, you could find something that, that could still help you, that could still give you income. It's a different mindset if you think about it this way. Stop chasing women, bro. Chase money. Chase God. Chase a better life. Every other thing will be added onto you. Chase God, Sha. Chase God. When I say chase God, I mean involve God in your life. You cannot do life alone. You don't know anything. Thank you guys and God bless you. Now the end of my speech. Subscribe to my YouTube. Get my book. Texting women. One love guys. One love. Ciao.